In this video, we're continuing on with our review of equations worksheet under the Infinite Geometry tab on the CUDA software website. This is a free worksheet provided by CUDA software, so I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access that. In the last video, we did numbers 1 through 10, so we're going to start with number 11. In number 11, we're going to have to distribute both the negative 6 and the 8. I'm going to turn all my operations into addition. In order to do that, we need to remember that subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. So I'm going to add a negative 3a as opposed to subtracting 3a, and I'm going to add a negative 8 as opposed to subtracting a positive 8. Now I'm ready to distribute. I'm going to distribute the negative 6, and I'm going to distribute the negative 8. Negative 6 times 3 is going to be negative 18 plus negative 6 times negative 3a is going to be a positive 18a. Then I'm going to add negative 8 times 6a, which is negative 48a, and I'm going to add negative 8 times 5, which is negative 40. And all of that is equal to 32. Now in order to solve, I need to figure out what the value of a is. So I'm going to combine like terms and then isolate the a. I can combine negative 18 with negative 40, and I can combine 18a with negative 48a. Negative 18 plus negative 40 is going to give me a negative 58. So I'm going to have negative 58 plus 18a plus negative 48a is going to give me negative 30a. Negative 58 plus negative 30a is equal to a positive 32. I'm going to add 58 to both sides. So my, 50, my negative 58 on the left hand side will cancel out. So I'll be left with negative 30a on the left and that's equal to a positive 90 since 32 plus 58 is equal to 90. Now all I have to do is divide by negative 30 and that's going to give me that a is equal to negative 3. So my solution in number 11 is negative 3. Moving on to number 12. I'm going to start by combining my like terms. So I'm going to combine the 3 and 6. Both are subtracted, so I'm going to switch it to adding a negative. And we'll see that negative 9 plus 4r is equal to 4r plus negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. Now I'm going to add 9 to both sides to get that 4r is equal to 4r, since negative 9 plus 9 is 0, and negative 9 plus 9 is 0. So my goal is to isolate this variable r. And once I isolate that variable, I will be able to see what it's equal to. However, now if I try to combine like terms, I would need to subtract 4r from both sides. When I do that, I'll get that 0 is equal to 0. And that is indeed true. So what this is telling us is that the solution is all real numbers. No matter what number I plug in for r, this equation will be true. And you can see negative 9r plus 4r is the same as 4r plus negative 9. So whatever I plug in for r, I'm going to have the same thing on each side of the equation. So all real numbers are true, so you can just say all real numbers or you can say all and the symbol for real numbers is a capital R with an extra line. All real numbers. Moving on to number 13, I'm going to start by combining like terms. I'm going to combine this 6x and subtract 2x from it. So 6x minus 2x is 4x and then I'm going to have 4x plus 8 equals x plus 5. Then I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So we'll have 4x minus 1x or minus x is equal to 3x. And then we still have plus 8 and that's equal to 5. I'll subtract 8 from both sides to get that 3x is equal to 5 minus 8, which is negative 3. Then all I have left to do is to divide by 3 to isolate the x. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x, and then we have negative 3 divided by 3, which is negative 1. 
So for number 13, our answer is negative 1. And number 14, again, I'm going to start by combining like terms. I have 4n and 5n on the left that I'm going to combine, and I have 5n and 7n on the right that I'm going to combine. 4n plus 5n is 9n, and we still have plus 15 on the left. 5n plus 7n is 12n. Now I'm going to subtract 9n in order to move all the terms within to one side of the equation. 9n minus 9n is 0, so I have 15 on the left, and that's equal to 12n minus 9n, which is 3n. My next and last step is to divide by 3 and solve. 15 divided by 3 is 5, 3n divided by 3 is n. So 5 is the solution in number 14. In number 15, I'm solving for m, so I want m on the same side of the equation. I'm going to do that by adding m to both sides at the start. 4m plus 1m, or m, is going to give me 5m, and I have plus 3, and then 13 minus m plus m leaves me with 13. Now I'm going to subtract 3 in order to isolate the term that contains the m. When I subtract 3, from 3, that's 0, so 5m plus 0 is 5m, and that's equal to 13 minus 3, which we know is 10. All I have left to do is to divide both sides by 5. In doing that, I'll isolate the m, since 1 times m is equal to m, and 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. So for number 15, m equals 2. In number 16, 5p plus 5 equals 4 plus 4p. I'm going to move the terms with p to the same side of the equation. I'm going to start by subtracting 4p. In doing so, 4p minus 4p will become 0. 5p minus 4p is 1p, or simply p. So I'll have p plus 5, and that's going to be equal to 4 plus 0, which is 4. Next, I can subtract 5 from both sides to isolate the p. p plus 0 is p, and 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So for number 16, our solution is negative 1. I'm going to start by combining like terms on the same side of the equation. So 8 cannot be combined with 6x, but on the right hand side, 8 can be combined with 7 and 3. So I'll have 8 plus 6x on the left, and that's equal to 8 plus 7 plus 3 is 15 plus 3, which is 18, and then we have plus 8x left. Next, I'm going to move all the terms with x to one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 8x, and I'm going to get 8 plus 6x minus 8x is negative 2x, and that's equal to 18. Then I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides to get the negative 2x by itself. So we have negative 2x is equal to a positive 10. Our final step is to divide both sides by negative 2 to get that x is equal to 10 divided by negative 2, which is negative 5. So negative 5 is the solution in number 17. For number 18, I'm going to start by distributing the negative 8. And I have to remember there's subtraction in between those terms. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to rewrite that, negative 5b plus 24, and then I'll have negative 8 times b, which is negative 8b, minus negative 8 times 6, which is negative 48. But remember, when you subtract a negative, you're adding a positive. So I'm going to say plus 48 as opposed to subtracting a negative 48, and then we have 6b left. Combining like terms, we're going to combine negative 8b and 6b together. I'll have negative 5b plus 24, still on the left-hand side of the equation, and then negative 8b plus 6b is going to be negative 2b, and then I still have plus 48. My next step, I'm going to add 2b to both sides. So my negative 2b will cancel out, and at the same time, I'm going to remove the 24 from the left-hand side, so that my b terms are the only thing on the left-hand side. I'm going to do that by subtracting 24. 
So I have negative 5b plus 2b, that's going to be negative 3b on the left hand side. 48 minus 24 is a positive 24. My final step, I'm going to divide by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, 1 times b is b, and that's equal to 24 divided by negative 3, which is negative 8. So negative 8 is my solution in number 18. In number 19, I'm going to start by distributing the 3. And I have to remember that there's subtraction between those terms. So I have 3 times 7r, which is 21r, minus 3 times 7, which is 21. And that's equal to negative 6 plus 6r. I'm going to move my r to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 6r from both sides. And at the same time, I'm going to add 21 to both sides. So now my r terms are on the left-hand side and my constants are on the right. 21r minus 6r will leave me with 15r. Negative 6 plus 21 will leave me with a positive 15. My last step is to divide by 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1. 1 times r is r. 15 divided by 15 is 1. So r is equal to 1 is the solution in number 19. I'll go ahead and stop the video here, and in the third video, we'll finish out the review of equations worksheet under the infinite geometry tab, and you can find this worksheet in the review of algebra section. I'll leave a link in the description below. Please remember to like this video, and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel.